Get ready for much hotter weather. In fact, we're about to see potentially our hottest temperatures so far this year, this week. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields is live in West El Paso with how you can stay safe during this extreme heat. While the National Weather Service says we can see some temperatures reach up to 107 degrees here in El Paso. Now, while we usually have some hot summers here in the borderland, those experts say it can be a while before we get a break from that heat. I mean, remind everybody that heat is the nation's number one killer. Local weather experts and the KTSM Weather Authority say El Paso will live up to its nickname, the Sun City, as a major heat wave approaches. Usually 105 to 107 degrees each afternoon, and temperatures maybe getting down to about 80 at night in the metro, mid 70s for the outlying areas. The National Weather Service El Paso office says it's issuing a heat advisory starting Wednesday that's expected to run through next week. Some folks may have the ability to find a cooling location for one day or a few hours here or there, but this is going to be a challenge for the members of our community throughout all of southern New Mexico and far west Texas. The weather experts say the pandemic adds new challenges to staying safe in summer heat. Uh, obviously, with the COVID issues going on, it's not the same as in years past when we could put everybody in a nice, cool, confined, air-conditioned space and keep them safe from the heat. The National Weather Service says you should look out for signs of heat stress, such as lightheadedness, hot skin without sweating, and fainting. To stay safe during the heat advisory, you should stay indoors if possible, stay hydrated, take frequent breaks if you need to be outside, and never leave your pets or children in an enclosed car. El Paso Electric also offering tips to conserve energy, saying the extreme heat can cause some power outages. Closing your, your, your blinds, using ceiling fans, uh, a lot of energy use is used around laundry or cooking, if you can do that later in the day or earlier in the morning. Very simple things that you can do. The weather experts suggest you should also check on your neighbors and relatives as the heat wave sticks around. Now, for, for, for more heat and safety tips, you can find that on our website, ktsm.com. Live in West El Paso, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News.